Welcome back to Around the World in 80 Telescopes. This is a live 24-hour webcast that is part of the 100 Hours of Astronomy project for the International Year of Astronomy. You're joining us here at the European Southern Observatory headquarters near Munich in Germany as we visit some of the most advanced telescopes both on and off the planet. So next up in our lineup is the 8.2 meter Subaru telescope, which is again on the Mauna Kea mountain in Hawaii, just like the previous telescope. However, before we join them live, let's find out about them in this short video. Hawaii's isolation in the middle of the Pacific Ocean contributes to the darkness of its skies. In addition, on the island of Hawaii, laws prevent people from littering the sky with unnecessary light to protect the precious darkness that is so essential for astronomy. Clear, dry, and dark, the summit of Mauna Kea is one of the best sites for astronomical observations in the world. I have been living in Hilo for five years now. Speaking English is still a challenge, but adjusting to the pace of life in Hawaii was easy. I leave for work around 8 in the morning. This is Subaru Telescope's Hilo base facility. The altitude at the summit of Mauna Kea is high, consequently the air is very thin. The lack of oxygen makes it hard to work. So work that doesn't have to be done at summit. It's done here at the Hilo base facility. There are laboratories, a library, and the computer rooms with 120 staff working inside. This is Subaru's computer room and its computers for data analysis. Optical fibers link the summit of Mauna Kea and Hilo so that data is stored here immediately after an observation takes place. Now let's go to the summit of Mauna Kea. It's a two-hour drive from Hilo to the summit. Here are the observatories atop Mauna Kea. These house 13 of the world's best telescopes. Subaru's enclosure has a unique cylindrical shape. This enclosure protects the telescope from the fierce elements of nature at the summit. Aerodynamical experiments and computer simulations show that a cylindrical shape minimizes air turbulence inside the enclosure. A primary mirror weighs about 23 tons. Subaru receives visitors from all over the world. Visitors experience the immensity of the telescope firsthand. They also experienced the physical challenge of working on Mauna Kea. The air pressure here is less than 60% of the air pressure at sea level. The primary mirror is the heart of any telescope. Subaru's is 8.2 meters in diameter, one of the smoothest, largest mirrors in the world. It can collect faint light from deep space objects and bring it to a sharp focus. Subaru is the only telescope of its size with an observational instrument that attaches to the top of the telescope. In a single exposure, Suprime Cam can take an image of a piece of sky as large as the full moon. Namika san, yes. what are you doing today? Oh, detaching a uh, focus. This instrument will be used for tonight's observations. Instrument exchanges are an important job for Subaru's day crew. 
New instruments are constantly under development. This is an infrared spectrograph that is being developed jointly by Japanese, British and Australian researchers. And so the Subaru telescope continues to evolve. It's time to return to Hilo. Subaru staff includes researchers, engineers, technicians, administrators, and many others whose contributions are all essential for the observatory's success. Right, it's now time to go live to the control room of the Subaru telescope. Do we have anyone there? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please, could okay, you introduce okay. yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about you and what you do at the observatory? Okay, um, I'm an astronomer. So my name is Tetsu Fusea. I'm an astronomer uh, researching on the solar system objects, especially the solar system small objects uh, such as uh, dwarf planets, comets, asteroids, and so on. And also, uh, I'm an officer at the uh, Public Information and Outreach Office of the Super Telescope. So I manage the Super Telescope website, and uh, so I give a lecture to the schools, science museum, and so on in Japan uh, using this kind of teleconference system almost every month. And also, I publish um, the books about astronomy and uh, so Super Telescope so for. Uh, mainly for children, and uh, so currently they are written in Japanese, so I may try uh, to translate them into English or other languages in the future. Yeah, that would be great if you could get your books in English as well. So can you tell us a little bit about the Subaru telescope? Okay, um, before the telescope itself, uh, let me introduce uh, unusual things in this room. So here is the um, control building. Um, let me show you the um, picture of the, uh, our uh, enclosure of the super telescope. The right one is the enclosure of the super telescope itself. The height is about 40 meters, so the, a huge building. And the left one, white one, it's a control building, and uh, we are now inside one. So here is the observation room, or uh, control room, we call. And uh, as you can see, there are plenty, plenty um, computer displays. Um, I counted today, it's first time for me, and uh, there are more than 25 computer monitors here. And uh, also, there are many uh, staff members tonight, so I will uh, introduce uh, them to you later. Um, I'd like to show you some unusual uh, things. First of all, can you see the um, numbers? Yes, we can see them. Thanks. Yes. This is a, a weather monitor. The sensor uh, itself is uh, on the roof of this building. And the top number here, uh, this shows the uh, uh, temperature uh, outside of this building. So minus 3 degrees Celsius is very cold even in, in, in Hawaii. And the humidity is about 50%, uh, uh, not so high. It should be uh, lower than here. Uh, today is a little bit, uh, the cloud is a little bit here. And uh, last, uh, this one, uh, this one shows the uh, air pressure here. So it's about uh, 620 hectopascals. Uh, is that uh, so 60 percent of the uh, sea level air pressure? So it's very hard for us to stay here, but it's good for the science, uh, so scientific observations. And uh, the light one, uh, this is uh, uh, this shows the window speed and the window direction. It's very so one point meter per second. Uh, not so high today. It's not so high. So is it actually clear? 